everyone. Today's lesson of evolution is about Lamarckian inheritance. But before we talk about the theory, let us talk about the man behind it. Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck was a French biologist born on August 1st, 1744 in northern France. He originally had a military career, but an injury caused him to resign. He then became a botanist, which helped build his scientific reputation. As a professor at the National Museum of Natural History, he set out to analyze and classify the animal kingdom. He invented the term invertebrate and in 1803 gave the term biology a broader meaning. So now that we know a little bit more about who Lamarck is, let's talk about his theory. The Lamarck theory, also known as Lamarckism, is best defined as an idea that an organism can pass on characteristics that it has gained over its lifetime to its offspring. Lamarck applied this to his evolutionary theories in an effort to add to his idea of a natural and advanced tendency, driving organisms constantly to be more complex, with separate lineages and no extinction. Lamarck's theory of evolution consisted primarily of two ideas. First was the idea of use versus seeds, meaning that organisms lose characteristics that they do not use and organisms develop characteristics that are beneficial. Next was his idea that acquired traits are heritable. Now let's go a little more in depth about what Lamarck was thinking and what all of this means. Lamarck's most famous example, justifying his theory for evolution, involves giraffes. Lamarck believed that when giraffes stretch their necks to reach the leaves at the top of the tree, they are strengthening their neck muscles and gradually lengthening their necks. When these giraffes reproduce, their offspring has longer necks and the necks just continue to elongate and grow stronger throughout the generations. So what does this mean for the giraffes? Well, the giraffes with longer necks had an advantage over the ones with shorter necks because they have access to more food and can get to the greener leaves near the top of the tree. They can also use their longer necks to better defend themselves against predators. So why is this wrong? This was an early theory of evolution, which during this time period seemed legitimate. However, through extensive research and studies, many scientists, including Cuvier, discredited Lamarck's theory because you need random genetic mutations in order for a new trait to develop. If we think of humans evolving using this theory, the theory actually sounds quite illogical. Humans don't stretch a lot and get longer over time. There has to be a mutation somewhere in the population that is favored and then passed on to the next generation. So why is Lamarckian inheritance still important? Although Lamarck's theory was discredited, it created a foundation for future studies like with Charles Darwin. Darwin's theory focused on natural selection, like in this giraffe example. The giraffes with shorter necks died off because the short necks did not help with survival, and those short neck genes were no longer able to be passed on. Now always remember that there is no such thing as a dumb idea. Lamarck contributed so much to the theory of evolution even though it was incorrect. Without him, Cuvier and Darwin would not have developed their theories exactly as we know them today. Thanks so much for watching.